Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, the footstepstopeace.com. Excuse me. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Hit that notification bell. All right, you guys. So today is the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. We are checking on where they are at on this journey of divine love. I feel... Um, when going over the energy, I was shuffling the cards and we had a few fall out, so I went ahead and pulled them. We got come to the edge. Why? Orphaned. And soulmates. So I feel like for, and then what just fell out in the Moonology deck was bring love into the situation. So <clears throat> what I'm getting from this is I feel that some people, uh, you know, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, both on both sides, um, have really been being um, tested. Okay, obviously they're being really tested right now to come out of their comfort zone. And that's kind of what I'm feeling right now when it comes to the coming to the edge. I feel like it's like really, you know, coming to a point in our lives where it's, you want to go out and learn new lessons. You want to go out and learn all about this other person. And I feel like it makes you also, it makes you learn a lot about yourself and how far you have come. <clears throat> the orphaned that I'm getting right here is, you know, going through those abandonment issues. And I feel like both the divine masculine and the divine feminine are both really missing one another. And I feel as though, like, um, I feel as though for some of you, this has to do with abandonment issues that you are needing to overcome. And that's kind of why you're going through this situation is so you can learn how to be alone. Because when I look at the orphan and I see the why, I feel like it's learning the lesson of how to enjoy your own company. So if you're always feeling like you're in a place of lack, you need to bring love into the situation and just be happy that you are where you are and allow the vulnerability to step in. Allow yourself also to feel the emotions. I do feel like one of you or both of you are watching the other person. Now, whether that's watching the other person's social media, this person could definitely be asking around about you. Um, I feel like bring love, this person is, when it says bring love into the situation, I feel like it's almost like this person has been thinking about you and sending you like loving vibes, loving words and that's really the best way to do it is to send the significant other the person that you care for send them love and even if you don't know who this person is send that person love anyway because eventually it's already written in the stars and i say that because aquarius is all about the law of attraction so it's already written in the stars here um you just have to learn the lessons before you can achieve this connection okay but it's already written in the stars so come out of this lack mentality. It's like stand up, dance, go hang out with your friends. You know, for some of you, you could definitely be building your tribe when it comes to your relationships. You could definitely be building, uh, for a lot of you feminines, you're, you know, building your friendship groups and making them stronger than ever. I see that. And, and it's amazing. You're meeting a lot new, more soulmates. So it's kind of taken, for some of you, it's kind of taken you out of this feeling, you know, abandoned and, and left out all alone and, you know, and saddened. And for me, I just got my baby. This is my Freya. Say hi, Freya. This is my baby. Say hi. Mm -hmm. And this is my soulmate. So I'm happy to have her, um, you know, so it could be new friends. It could be a new pet. It can be something that, you know, because soulmates aren't just another human being. This can also be a new pet. This can also be a new companion for some of you because you were feeling all alone. So I know that this is for the divine masculine and feminine, but also, you know, instead of waiting around and feeling orphaned, you could be uh, putting your attention on something else, something that you can care for and love. So again, bringing love into the situation. 
Just because this person is not here doesn't mean that you should be sitting around in this mode constantly asking yourself why. Why doesn't this person like me? Why don't, you know, come to the edge. Do something fucking wild and crazy. You know, let your hair down. Enjoy yourself. This goes for you too, masculines. This is not just the feminines, okay? All right, so let's find out where the feminines are. How are the feminines... Um, how are the feminines seeing the masculines? How are the feminines seeing the masculines? The divine feminine. How do the divine feminines see the masculine spirit? Okay. Romance. Spirit. Okay. Picture. You know what? We keep getting this. We keep getting this. Romance and pictures. I've seen this in a couple of the other readings that I've done the last couple of days. So those cards have come out. Okay. Romance and pictures and one more. All right. And shame. Divine masculine as the overall energy. So sacred masculine, feminine recognizes her masculine and the connection and home. So she feels like this person is home. And how does she see the masculine? She wants a, like an evening of romance. You know, maybe she wants to take selfies of the two of you. Like she wants to you know, invite you over to help paint. Maybe she needs help painting a room in her home. But I feel like there's, you know, with the shame card here, I feel like maybe the feminines have been rejected. Yeah, but again... I love the fact that the divine mass or the feminines are seeing the divine masculine as the divine masculine, which that's great. You know, it goes to show that, you know, she's seeing that he is maturing and that he's doing his work. Okay. He's come to the edge. He's, he's doing the work yet. It's for some of you, it might be a little slower for him to learn these lessons. And so, yeah, you might be feeling a little lonely without this person. I mean, I'll be honest with you. It, there's no shame in missing this person and saying, you know, you would like, and feeling like as if you want to spend time, you can't always fucking fake it and pretend like, okay, I'm the divine feminine. And you know, I have to pretend that I don't care what this person's doing. That would just be silly. I mean, I would be a little bit more worried that you didn't. I mean, yeah, fuck it if you get it and fuck it if you don't. Um, that's like the best approach to kind of take it. Like, I, I, I'll take it or leave it, you know, but at the same time, you, you miss talking to this person. And if you don't have somebody in mind, you miss just having that companionship with someone. You know, a, a lot of readers will tell you, you know, you can't, you know, you're not supposed to want it. But, you know, that's not human. <laughs> We're here living a human experience, so you're going to want it. Um, that's just a given, but it can't be the end all. Like my life can never be happy until, uh, you know, I have this pretty picture when it comes to the, the romance and the man that I want. Um, so spirit, please show me. Whoa. I haven't even asked a question. How are the masculines feeling about the feminines or seeing the feminines? They're seeing that the feminines have, uh, have doors are opening. There's new opportunities for romance for these feminines, okay? Whoa. Okay, the, the, these cards just went all over the place, you guys. Wow, okay, hold on. My apologies, uh, wow. Freya. Freya. Okay. okay. No, do not eat my cards. All right. Hopefully those are all done. My apologies, you guys. That took so long. Uh, feel free to fast forward through that. Uh, okay. So the masculines are at this place of surrender. Okay. Letting go of negativity, listening to higher wisdom from self, shifting out of ego and into soul self. Uh, they say that the feminines have opportunities when it comes to romance. And I feel like 
there's a stalemate here, and that's what this is saying. There's a stalemate because someone is not taking off the mask. Uh, maybe this feminine saw pictures of the masculine with someone else or vice versa. Because when you... Romance, opportunities. <laughs> no. <laughs> Romance and opportunities. Okay? But the, I feel like the Divine Masculine is wanting to surrender to this relationship. And I think that they are in this place of wanting to confess to the Divine Feminine about how they picture their life moving forward with her. The thing is, is that there's a stalemate at this time. And I feel like, you know, because the Divine Feminine isn't hearing from the Divine Masculine, she's feeling at this place of, because you look at the shame and you look at the orphaned cards, and it's almost like they're the same color even. See how she's like bent over here? They both are. Okay. And it's because she hasn't heard. For some of you, it's because you've seen your divine masculine with a soulmate. There's a third party here. That's just for some of you. And if so, you already know about this person. So this is not something that is like news to you today, okay? Uh, you already know about this person. All right, so with that said, let's see. Um, how do the Divine Feminines feel in their heart for the Divine Masculine? Okay, inner light. Uh, I feel like that was sloppy shuffling. In their heart, they're they're trying to keep an inner light, their inner light on, um, and lit for this. And they're like, especially at times when they're feeling hopeless, like this relationship isn't going to come together. So you've got inner light, you've got hopeless, you have telepathy, able to hear each other's thoughts and converse mentally, able to sense each other's feelings and moods. And you, that could be at night when you're sitting there. Maybe you have a candle lit for this person and you are listening in and to, tapping into this person's emotion because you're in a place of complete surrender, complete freedom, okay? like And so therefore you are a lot more, it's like a magnet. You can just tap in. Uh, let go of negativity, listening to higher wisdom from self, shifting out of ego and into soul self. Um, and I feel like whenever you are feeling hopeless in your heart, I feel like you always keep that inner light for the masculine always lit. And I feel like that is really beautiful. <clears throat> so let me see. All right. So how do the masculines feel in their heart for the feminine spirit? Okay. Wow. Okay, guys. The divine masculines are, now we have this twice. The feminines are seeing the divine masculine as the divine masculine. The masculines feeling in their heart for the divine feminine, they feel in their heart that they can stand up and that they are at this place in time where they are almost ready to gain the courage to walk forward um, into this relationship. You have the divine masculine twice on this, uh, confirming what I already thought. And I feel like it's just a matter of time. Karma, paying off karmic debts owed from past lives in the present life. I feel like the divine masculine realizes that the two of you have a mission on earth to fulfill. And it is causing a lot of chaos in his mind about what it is that he needs to do. But eventually the divine, fem or divine masculine gets into balance. Um, he needs to tap into his feminine side and that is going to bring in and clear out that karmic debt that the masculine is working on but it's a lack mentality that they are trying to overcome right now constantly focusing on what you don't have has random goals thinks there isn't enough for everyone fear-based so it's almost like you know this person with the lack mentality is like do I have enough to help take care of this person you know do I 
And it's like, you know, I'll be honest with you. I feel like you have to understand with if you're a divine masculine watching this right now, the divine feminines could give a flying fuck how much you have. I know that you in your your karmic whatever in your mind think that everything has to be a level of perfection. But the divine feminine is in balance when they are with you. And the two of you are also supposed to like work with one another to be able to create that life with one another where it's not already fully created and then the other person has no plan in it. You know, it's got to be like, yeah, you get it to a certain place, but then you got to allow the divine feminine or vice versa, allow the divine masculine in so that you can continue building together. Because if it's already done, then what do you guys really have to do together? You know, so learning how to, again, balance that out. So, let's see. Spirit, please show me. Huh. All right, feminine's negativity just came out, so I don't know what that's all about, but release your negative thoughts about your divine masculine or about certain things that are going on. If there's negativity that is going on in your life right now, it's just for you to overcome the storm so that you can get through this, okay? Um, you know, whatever is going on, the reality around you right now is what has been going on within you, and it's like we need to balance that out, you know, and just realize, just keep painting the picture of how you want to see things be, and then don't take your focus off of that, okay? Uh, keep your thoughts positive. All right, Spirit, so what actions are the feminines going to take when coming into union with the Divine Masculine? What actions are the Divine Feminines going to take? Whoa, holy crap. Okay. All right, Divine Feminines. I love this. I said it earlier. The divine feminines are working on their soul tribe. So what are the divine feminines doing? They are building their feminine group. They are building their group of, of, of people who are their, their rock. The people who don't leave them feeling left out in the cold. The people who are helping them overcome and getting them to come to... Uh, and that's funny. Right underneath the come to the edge is the community. Okay, so this divine feminine is building communities right now. And what is she doing? She is, she is walking away from what no longer serves her. And with her head held eye, she's got her dignity intact. She is not willing to stand and do anything unless it goes along with what she is, uh, what she believes in. And because this woman has transformed. So d dignity is choosing self and walking away out of self-respect, knowing your value and self-worth. <laughs> what this is saying is if the divine feminine walked away from her divine masculine, that is what she is doing to uh, bring this relationship into union. Is she is been willing to sacrifice this and go towards what <laughs> what is actually good for her. And that is this group of people and the community that she has built for herself. So, because it's taken a lot, she has had to rise above the fray. I mean, this is very powerful when you see soul tribe, dignity, and rise, as well as transformation. That means that these fucking feminines, the process of upgrading one's ability to navigate through the obstacles of life while maintaining inner peace. You feminines have busted your ass to come to a level of understanding of who you are and overcoming these abandonment issues. And if you have not, you are on your way to that. And you need to just continue to surrender because we are all in a... Um, we're all on different frequencies and all on different timelines right now. So if you're not there, don't be discouraged. You're headed there. Just keep doing the work. Keep doing what you need to be doing. Keep letting go of what no longer serves a purpose. Keep building these strong bonds between you and the people around you so that when, if you know, if you don't have your masculine if you end up getting into a relationship and then all of a sudden the masculine is gone, you're not fucking picking up the pieces anymore. Okay? You don't want to have your tower completely crumble and you don't have your job in order. You don't have your career in order and something that you enjoy doing, you know, and you don't have your own level of stability. Like, you don't want to have your shit rocked out from underneath you again. 
So that's why it's like you can sit here in this poor orphaned little situation asking yourself why, but it's really to test you to see what you are willing to do to move forward and what you're willing to do when it comes to giving back to your community. Like, yes, you will come into contact with this person, with this divine masculine, but it can't be everything. And like I said at the beginning, it's okay to have a level of, I miss this person or, you know, gosh, I, you know, it'd be nice to have a conversation with this person. But at the same time, it's not everything. Okay. So building your soul tribe. I love seeing this. And this is a level of transformation that these feminines could pat yourself on the back for getting to this. I mean, this is a dangerous level of freedom because it goes to show that you are at that surrender. Like I can go with if, with, and I can go without. And that's the, the line that you have to learn how to tow. You know, it's like, uh, there's this, uh, psychic, I can't remember his name. He's on, uh, he's on YouTube. And if you type in, uh, you don't get to, um, what is it? Uh, you don't come out of your dark night of the soul. You get in or something like that. Anyway, it's an amazing read. And when you learn how to toe the line and realize that you're always going to be chasing the dragon if you're trying to teeter too far, it's too much of a bad thing or it's too much of a good thing if you're always chasing that. You have to learn that bad things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people and good things happen to bad people and good things happen to good people. There is no balance. There's a balance in between that. And you have to understand that. you got to toe the line. So that goes the same in this relationship and it's a level of balance. And you also have to see how she's also doing the Scorpio yoga pose. Okay. So this could also be in the time of Scorpio. And we are getting ready in the next couple of months to have a Scorpio new moon. So something could be happening in that time. Or um, Scorpio also rules death and rebirth. Okay. So there, it goes back to this transformational energy that the feminines have been going through. And this has taken you to a whole nother level of healing as well. Um, and thank you, universe. <laughs> You know, you don't want to come in with all your past baggage because otherwise you're just going to be in a level of where you're not playing for keeps. And if you want to keep doing this for sport, you can stop right here, turn off this video and go right back to the way you've been doing things. And again, this is for entertainment purposes only. If you choose to entertain the idea of what it is I'm gifting you here today, great. And if you don't, great. It was an experience. It was 22 so minutes of your time. So you can always go back to the way you've been doing things, but just remember the reason why you're here watching this channel right now or any other readers or astrologers is because you're tired of making mistakes. So keep going through that transformation. Be proud of where you are, you're coming from and, and don't, st don't stop. Don't stop. Don't quit before the victory. Okay. So feminines, I mean, masculines, what, what guidance are you taking to come into union with the feminines. What are you guidance are you taking to come into union with the feminines? What is going on here with these masculines? All right. All right. The masculines are right now working and working on their lessons. And I did say that earlier with the book right there, okay? So I feel like, you know, they're studying right now. Maybe they're studying their spirituality. They're studying about, you know, what got them into these hardships. They're definitely going through their awakening right now, okay? And I think it has a lot to do with, you know, their, their, their family. I do feel like the masculines are... overcoming desire okay i think that the masculines desire their feminine but it's like they're what are the masculines doing they're willing to climb mountains for this feminine they're willing to push that boulder up that mountain for their feminine and i feel like they are overcoming this this family dynamic maybe there's something going on in his family again soulmates are not just 
you know, other relationships. It's anything, family, children, uh, work, okay? It's anything that gets in the middle of the two of you guys coming together. And I feel like that's the, one of the lessons that they're learning is that they did allow other things and desires to get in the fray of this relationship. Get it right in the mix. But they're overcoming that lesson right now. So let's just see. What do the masculines want to say to the feminines? What do the masculines want the feminines to know? I'm trying to trust in divine timing. Okay, whoa. What if you don't accept me for who I really am? I'm coming back soon. You're beautiful. Okay. I'm trying to trust in divine timing. And one, two more cards, spirit. One, two. All right. I see myself having kids with you. I can't stand not talking to you. Yeah, this person misses misses your conversation. And I feel like it's almost like they're trying to send you telepathy. And I know that on your side, you did get telepathy. So I feel like whatever he's putting out, you're getting feminines. Uh, feminines, what do you want to say to your masculine? Whoa, 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 okay. I can't face you right now. I feel so much regret for everything I've said and done. Okay, trust me. I'm so scared of change. I pretend I don't care because I care too much. I know we're twin flames. Okay. She knows. Oh, man, at the bottom of the deck, you guys, I love you. All right, so she knows. I mean, she knows that this is her divine masculine, and she's ready to go to the ends of the earth for this masculine to come in. Uh, I feel like at this time, yes, you know, she's going through what she's going through, and it could feel like a little bit of a lonely time. And I don't feel like it's just the feminines that are feeling that way. I feel like it's the masculines as well. So, you know, I can't put it all on the feminines, but, you know, because but some of us, you know, they're just, you guys are yearning for that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You want this person to express their love but right now they're needing to release their ex and for some of you maybe that's like you know just even having to release the past spirit whoa whoa okay so yeah express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture release your ex the time has come to clear your energy true love this is the romance of a lifetime and you deserve love. You are lovable. So you guys, like this is Cupid's arrow. You know, I feel like it's just gotta go like that though. It's like you have to trust in divine timing. Yes, this person loves you, and but they needed to go back and learn an exit or learn an exit strategy, I almost said. <laughs> so for some of you, you know who your twin flame is, and you're in a relationship with someone else, and you're working on your exit strategy right now. That was funny. Um, <laughs> told you we're all on different timelines. So because you know who your true love is and you realize that where you're at with this ex, you, you haven't been loved correctly, okay? This person didn't express like who they were and they were not vulnerable with you and it was a soulmate connection, okay? But... The Divine Feminine knows who their twin flame is. And I'll be honest with you, they know who their Divine Masculine is. And the Masculines know that they're the Masculine. They know it. Wow. All right. Well, that one just flew out. Yeah, unrequited love. Whoever they're with or whoever they're dealing with right now, there's unrequited love. There's not enough romance or attraction to keep this, or not enough chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going. And that's the lesson that the masculines are having to learn. And your love life is being affected by children. So I did say that earlier. This masculine or feminine could definitely have children that are standing in the way of the two of you coming together. Okay? 
Maybe they're dealing with their kids going into school right now, and so they don't have time to, you know, court you or, you know, ask you out on a date. Not for whoever's watching, uh, if you don't know what courting is, it's asking you out on a date. Yeah, they, they just want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with you. And I know that the masculines on their side said, I you know, they got this, I can't stand not talking to you. But remember, in the past, the masculines weren't listening, and now they're yearning for their feminine to come back in because uh, it's been a long time since they've had a conversation, and the masculines actually miss the conversations that the two of you used to have. So this is a beautiful reading, you guys. Um, you know, either way, you know, the, oh, 41 could be relevant, Okay. The number five and the number 36. 36 is a nine. It says, don't give up, you guys. Don't give up. Keep going. You're almost to the finish line. Five says it's change created by outside forces. So the universe is literally maneuvering some things right now. Trust in divine timing. You're going to be able to move forward. And for some of you, you're going to be coming into a relationship with your soulmate. Others of you, you're going to be coming into relationships with your twin flame. So you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I love being here. Let me know what's going on in the comment bar down below. Uh, I love hearing what you guys have to say. I love uh, like following along with you. I do read your comments. Uh, you guys, if you are interested in a personal